playing some of these picks that are not really prevalent in the current minute. Interesting look here as well for T1 on their offense, not really stacking anywhere. And this might actually going to be first point of contact out towards long B as Sentinels were trying to see what exactly was happening. So with that, T1 do find first blood, opens up an opportunity for them to execute over towards B. They also get a read on Sinatra, who's playing over towards the defensive side at spawn. Boombot will make sure that this defensive rehit is delayed at least a touch. And while Dapper was trying to play for a flank over to the teleporter, it's going to be Dazed who finds the second kill. And T1 with the spike down are looking at a 5v3. And T1 have a massive advantage here. I'm not just talking about the play in numbers, but they have full control over Hooker as well. Long as theirs. Dapper, that 1v1 versus Day is super important. If Dapper wins that, Sentinels have a very good chance of the retake, especially in a 4v4. Here we go. That was Sentinels with the three available. Trying to double up from the elbow position. Low HP for Sinatra. will go down. And this should be a cleanup from here on out. Just one player available. Sick. He's got a lot of HP, but he's running out of time find one kill and a second so we're gonna make this a little bit more punishing but the chances of him actually getting to defuse are none and with that azk will also find correct prediction for t1 as far as the execute is concerned there are only two members on the a site defensively for sentinels and they're both stacked over towards lamps azk looking what? to open things up maybe with the fault line 20 seconds left here comes the execute and sentinels will not be here immediately paint shells to come through in combination with the paranoia for extra first blood that's actually over towards the b site but you got to get this spike on there's only 10 seconds, 10 seconds left, left and as long as sick can stay alive maybe a little bit longer maybe there's an opportunity to delay it but spike no planted. spider will successfully plan in t1 we're in a 4v2. Never change, T1. One never change. As we man. wait until the 30 second mark, and the rest of the T1 say, you know what? Let's all go towards A. Ends up being like a what? A plot with five seconds remaining. The butt that I was going to throw in there, Shift, was to say that, okay, they're about to get on site. Sure, there's only two Sentinel members mem alive up there, but when are they going to plant here? They're going to run out of time if there's any any sort of pressure that denies the plant. T1 just lose right then and there. They will enable the 4v1 now. Spider does remain alive, does get the spike down. Death is going to go down a spider as well, and T1 collected four and zero. I think half of that was also Sinatra maybe being, being called out over towards teleporters, can't quite get away. And this is part of the other issue for Sentinels, but they're about to let another plant come through. Potentially there is finally going to be a trade. Sentinels have been really failing to stop these pushes in, despite how slow they've been. Sentinels just don't get the kills on site when it matters. This time they get the one, Sentinels will have even numbers for the retake. Shazam with an operator is going to be pretty hard pressed to find a way into this spike site. You also have to keep your eye on Sinatra, who's going to try to play through Hookah. Skadoodle needs to stay alive. You cannot fall here if you're Skadoodle. Your whole responsibility is to make sure nobody pushes through these doors. But now as Sinatra finds a kill for the back, Shazam also with an operator. 4v2 situation. Time's going to become a problem here if they can't find a way to clear out Brax early. Blaze wall goes down, spam shot coming through, and Brax, he snaps oh. for a third kill! Now it's just down to Shazam, on the spike, the Neurotep's that's gonna come through, Days able to find the kill, and T1, they'll hold the post plan and go up 5 nothing. as there's not enough time for Zoms to do anything at all besides back away and save. Yep, another save coming through for Sin. Our four-man stack aggressively over towards the A site. This recon's going to reveal a lot here as well. Zoms, oh, this is going to be really unfortunate. We'll be caught potentially by the aftershock. The flash comes through as well. AZK gets to clean up there. That's another member down. Spike will finally be picked up. It's 20 seconds though. This is T1 at T1's worst. Unfortunately, they got to get in Dude. there very quickly. Do they take the teleporter here? You've got it. Yeah, they do. I was about to oh, say, you've, no got, you've got the Cypher over towards B. You might be able to get there just in the nick of time, but Shazam is trying to watch from the back. Seven seconds. They will get this spike planted just in the nick of time, but the Luka trail will come through behind this. So 2v2 we go. Sentinel's in a little bit of a more advantageous spot health-wise as Spider's down to a single bullet. And this is going to be a double hit pretty well telegraphed from Hookah. The Blaze Wall's in a great spot to split things up, but Brax still finds a kill onto Sinatra. So now it's just down to sick, and Brax will oh, be boy. good for that one as well. The last second rotation. Because they haven't cleared side. In fact, they haven't entered side yet. We're hitting the 20 second mark. Double stack once again over towards Lamps. AZK setting up for a rolling thunder. Spider's actually going to get caught by this, and he was the furthest one forward. So Zoms is able to find two kills. Yes, the boom bot will find Ten value, but left. again, the time is becoming an issue. No one has the spike right now. It's over towards A showers, and a sick find Spider who was trying to track back to it. There won't be enough time this time for T1 to plant. Maybe a bit of confusion as far as how they wanted to execute off of the Rolling Thunder as Spider was caught in the backing away. 22 seconds on the execute. Recon Bolt also coming through. Now the Hunter's Fury is going to come out. This could it find value defensively for Sentinels. It's again holding things back as Skadoodle's able to find a train into Sinatra. Now down to 12 seconds. Dapper, is he good for two? Not quite. Skadoodle now on the way back in. Oh, what a oh. shot that is for Shazam! He's also able to stop the plant and as the orbital strike comes through, Sentinels will take four rounds in a row. 
And there it is. That's the ultimate being put into place as well. T1, one alive there. Just Brax. Seven, seven after that 07 start would be phenomenal. Only the showstopper available for Sentinels this time defensively. And as Daze just spams through the dark cover, he essentially runs and guns down Zoms. And with that, now he's got the opportunity to pick up an exactly Orb, And the Neural Theft will be committed very early. T1, are you looking to maybe execute a bit sooner than you would think normally? Now it's going to be a Hunter's Fury. Whisker Doodle also moving on forward with the showstopper. Can't quite get on top of the truck by the A site, but it's still trying to push to find an elimination. But no, oh, it's God. Dapper to find a kill. And as Sick is able to get better use this time out of the showstopper, the Boom Bot will also get into the mix. Sick for a Third, give them the fourth. Sentinels, they take the round. Uses Aldrin, but I didn't see it come out. So they maybe use the Aldrin to clear through Hookah. They would find a lot of information, but no, Sentinels are just going to make their go call all the way through B long. Brax is going to stay right. safe. And oh my goodness, what a shot that is from Days for the first blood. That'll keep the defense a bit more sturdy here for T1. Brax on the flank. He's going to get scouted up by the recon bolt. So now his position will be known. And with this, the spike will be plotted behind. So now as the double commit comes through for T1 defensively through Hookah, they're trying to force their way in, but the Molotov will stop them for now. Still a 5v4, but Sentinel's killing off time for the potential defuse. They're going to have an exit over towards B long. Numbers are still starting to surround for T1, but you have to go sooner rather than later. And with three members for T1 still stacked in Hookah, it's going to have to be a go call off of what Skadoodle wants to do. Here comes the play. He's going to be able to find information on a player over towards long, but the players over an elbow are actually doing a better job here for Sentinels. 3v3. Now time becoming a major consideration. Dazed will toggle onto the spike just to see if there's anybody Run still around. And as they do find a couple of kills, it just will not be enough. Sentinels, they kill off enough time and they will... Easier site to approach than B. Sick is going to try to throw some defensive consideration over towards the B site by playing a solo showstopper over. While that starts to fade away, you're going to be getting oh Sentinels working up the mid, but Spider throws a shoulder and comes away with two headshots. Left. Brax as well dealing with Sick means oh, that this play for Sentinels has seen its last light. And Sinatra in a 1v5 might try to play for a spike plan as he's got plenty of cash to play with. And any kills are good kills here as T1 is still struggling for a bit of their economy and... That does get those kills and that will shut Sentinels down. Sinatra early to run it back, wants to play through Hookah, actually goes right by the boom bot, and as he tries to work his way onto site, can't find any damage actually to the Skadoodle, who takes care of the initial portion of the Phoenix, and then also finds Dapper, but still Sentinels pushing aggressively over towards B. Now it's going to be the defensive Hunter Spear coming through for days, just hunting for any kind of information possible, but the good news is AZK and Spider behind him are cleaning up the kills as all these Sentinels members continue to try to dodge away from the Hunter's Fury, and T1 ends up being fairly useful. Here comes the overall strike early forces AZK away, and this is going to be a very fast hit, actually. As Daze gets a couple of kills in response, Hookah Control has been obtained, and Spike is dropped. That's going to put Sentinels really in a tough spot. It's really a tough decision for Sentinels. They were looking to just take away these areas over towards B-Long and Hookah simultaneously with the Orbital Strike used to shrug some players back, and they don't fully get exactly what they wanted, but at least they keep things 3-3, and they clear up Hookah to get themselves the Spike back. And even beyond that, a little bit of a cherry on top here as the shotgun will find a little bit of value, oh, but wow. okay. Not so much a cherry on top, and there's no ice cream sundae below it as Shazam will be forced to clutch things up, and he's able to essentially... Yeah, definitely. So uh, possibly all priority would be on the cards here, but Zom's kind of in the wrong position for that. You kind of got to be following Sinatra. who's going in very deep right now. Caught oh, by Troy, well. and that's him down. Brax in position for the kill. And Spider here to respond as well. That is a bad, bad, bad start for Sentinels. And by the way, that was one of their three rifles. They only walk with three guns and one is down. And I love the call for Brax just to push through the hot hands to confirm the kill. Although, Sick has actually made his way onto site. Finds the trade back pit. Spider can't actually confirm the trade. So 4v4 we go. Rolling Thunder still available. You got to keep your eye Ooh. on AZK who's sitting backside site. The Molotov will clean up Spider. So now a 4v2. Skadoodle's down. AZK is going to have to find more to clutch this up with exactly Dave. Rolling Thunder going to come through, but the Neural Fit in response will mean that really not a lot of ground was taken away. This is looking great for Sentinels all of a sudden. It's a spike be planted. And Shazam will dodge all the utils as well. Doesn't get hit by a shock ball. Doesn't get hit by the aftershock. Rolling Thunder, it's very little in that situation as well as Days will swing by for one kill. AZT on his lonesome for another. It's a 1v2. Half HP over for Sick as well. Possibility of a kill. The fault line will hit, but that's all. One flash available. The cam is going to be good. Tagged as well. The swing could come through at any moment. And this could be it. I think Sentinels will take this onto OT. Indeed, they do. They're eventually going to commit over towards A as they realize that the Sova's playing towards B. Don't know if they got information that Sinatra's also over there. There's the fault line. Recon bolt behind it. 
And with the flash also coming through, no, it's oh, sick! Wow. He gets the collateral lineup, still alive for 54 oh, HP, the soft wall comes over the top! Dom's able to find the final three! Good things will have three available here to come down to Brax. Brax is a nice opening kill, spike on the floor there. Good assist by Spider on the Paranoia as well. That's player advantage. Two kills now for T1 as Sentinel's down to three. And Dave's on top of the site. He's going to have a lot of contestants oh, nearby, but yeah, Brax yeah, here yeah. for the help as he finds a second and third kill, but Zom's for the immediate trade. The Sky Smoke will allow him to push through to clear out some space, but in a 1v technical four left. situation, he's got Skadoodle on his flank. He's got Spider inside. There's the first kill. If he can find this Ice Sled 1v1 versus Skadoodle, it'd be great. He knows that this player is here, and he's going to commit to just going straight on through the teleporter to Hookah. There is time for this play. Sky Smoke will be placed to block off the defensive side and spawn, and he's going to have the ultimate after this plant left. comes through, but the Aftershock's going to deny it for a moment. Down to six seconds. Flashpoint also coming through. You have to stick for this. There's Page Cells behind it, though. He's going to get tagged up pretty heavily. Down to 35 HP, and AZK will clean things up. Double OT we go. AZK saves the day for T1 there. If it wasn't for the Aftershock, if the plant comes through for Zombs and he gets... I don't know how effective he would have been. I mean, we have seen a couple of really nice collaterals come into play. Let's see if they can do that again. Those Sentinels up quite aggressive over towards B. And there are a couple of members here. AZK is very far forward. It's by himself. Skadoodle also playing aggressively to Hookah, but he's going to find one kill. It'll be a one for one trade. Blast packs going back and forth. Curveball now coming through, but Spider's here for a little bit of help. And the Hookah teleporter play will come out. T1 with a big advantage. 4v2. Dapper's on site. He has to commit. Now moving his way through. You'll see information on the days, but he can't confirm the kill as of yet. The spam shots will eventually be there. And as Shazam nearly lines up a double, it's all down to Dapper. 1v1. Neural Theft will come through, but he knows the spike is down, and beyond that, Skadoodle also aware that information takes the challenge, Defenders but Skadoodle lead. holds fast and gets the dub and T. Soms is going to look to execute here with Dirt Covers coming out. Dapper with him over towards the A short area, and T1 will back away as they were initially considering I jumping planted. in to stop the plan from coming through, but Days from the top rope. He's able to find one kill. That's going to be very valuable because now T1 are going to have to try to find a way to navigate the retake on a 5v3 situation. And it just comes down to trying to overwhelm and play for trades here, you feel like, at a certain point. Dapper tries to find a cheeky pick, but will be denied the opportunity. Zom's up top will take down Skadoodle. Dapper's able to find an opportunity for a second. So T1, now it's a 2v3. Zom's, if you could find one more, it'd be great. And he is able to do it. And Shazam from hell for two. Sentinels able to hold on in a 3v5 post-plant situation for the pistol. And that was really shaky. Big role to fill here. He will be individually responsible for anything to come through short, while the rest of the defensive members for Team 1 will have to try to respond to the players coming through main. Brax with the find one. Now it's down to Skadoodle. He finds one kill, able to tail it away, but not going to get the kills. Dapper will find another double, and that's going to lead to a spike plant here as the entirety of the A spike site will be left. cleared off. And now Sentinels, they'll have a 3v2 with a couple of weapon upgrades in front of them as well. Ooh. Neural Theft in play, confirms no one on the big flank there, and this is all Dapper gets the opening frag, goes deep on site. Skadoodle dashes straight into the waiting arms of Dapper's off for a double. He will be able to get an ultimate, will be able to play the ultimate, gets the Phantom upgrade, and Sentinels are on their way now. AZK and Spider with a potential retake. There's the first kill onto Zombs. Now a 2v2 situation. Spider goes down. One versus two. ACK can't land any shots. Get for T1. Skadoodle's going to try to get aggressive with the operator once more. He was punished for this place before. And this time it's going to be Dazed who finds a kill defensively early onto Dapper. That'll lead to a nice opportunity here for T1 to try to find their first defensive round. Now this is what? t one second maybe gun round? An actual gun round where they're not working with hero rifles like they were last time? So this is one that really counts, and I mean, the spike's already planted. It's a free B plant. We've seen what happens, by the way, when a team like Sentinels on the attack here get to stroll onto B for free and get most of their players out alive. They will lose one, but the important ones are still there between Sick, the Phoenix player. So Nitro, the Sova as well. A lot of utility in play, huh. but they're going quite aggressive in Garage. I think this is a little unnecessary, and T1 have a great opportunity now. Off your feet. This does provide the conversation that Sentinels could potentially be looking to flank with the C garage completely vulnerable, but as Daze pushes through, he's going to find one kill. Spider's just going to hold this, and as Daze finds a third, the defuse will be there. So you have to admire, I think, for Sentinels, you're going to... As they make a play over towards A short, Daze has to find at least one. Two would be incredible. He's going to find nothing, though. 
And now as the Hunter's Fury is going to be used offensively, trying to clear out some space on top of the site itself. This will be a take, but Skadoodle, he'll deny the first. Opportunity maybe for a second. Cybercage going to come through. AZK on the site with him. There's one kill and a second. That's beautiful for AZK. Skadoodle, he's going to have a little bit of help from Brax, and that little bit of help is more than necessary as he will in play they still have plenty of money to work with and this is their best chance now to get two more on the board before we go to the second half early hunter's fury coming through shazam actually is trying to updraft away from it but days locks him down deploying drone and the ambitious call pans out in a major way for t1 trying to get the five rounds defensively before the half swap to be great for them Brax trying to spam not gonna find any connections initially through the dark cover and spider will soak up the better part of a shock dart Good value coming through for both of our Sova players early. And Sentinels, who are still stacked towards C long, have a lot of time to consider if they actually want to hit this. Spider might actually force them away as he gets the Operator to sing a tune here. And with that, he will be revealed by the Recon Bolt, holding the Paranoia, now reconsidering. And him and Brax are not out of the woods yet. There are still a hit coming through. Dapper has literally wiggled his way forward. He's going to catch one for free. Knows that Dapper's oh. nearby. Pardon me, that ba Brax is nearby. He'll find the second kill. And Sentinels, with their gut check call to hold towards C Long, will pan out as they get the spike planted. T1 gets spooked out by the recon bolt there. I mean, you see what happens is. Brax puts up a cage to try and save Spider because they feel like Spider's gonna get rushed. He has a paranoia out as well, still has a paranoia out, and Dapper slowly crawls his way in, gets a kill, oh. Zombs TPs into the oh. aftershock there, so AZK is awarded a freebie. The Rolling Thunder is still available if they want to go for it, but they're just gonna go and try right now. Skadoodle down early, AZK as well, and now just down to one. Now they wish they actually put in the Hunter's Fury, or rather, the Rolling Thunder. As days that Spider also throws in a bit of Utah in terms of the smoke. That's pulling Sentinels all the way over. Now Zombs is pulling for the rotation back. He sees everybody coming up C. He, he's going to save the Paranoia for the retake as well. This is actually a really brilliant play. A lot of the time you'll see Omens throw that down left. the hallway. He's going to have the resistance and the resiliency to hold on to this to make sure teammates can come through. Keep your eye on Dapper. Long flank coming through as Sick and Spider will find a couple of trades. Now on the backside flank, Team 1 going to clean things up. It's just down to Zombs who did spend the paranoia for that potential retake, but it obviously did not find nearly as much value as Sentinels were hoping for. Zombie's position will be made aware, and he can't quite win the gunfight versus AZK. Gated all drone, and it will at least catch information on one player over towards the middle of the map. Sinatra's gonna try to take value off of this, and he does confirm a lot of damage, but the action's actually going over towards Zom's directions at sea. He won't be able to find a kill, and with that, the spike will be planted. Still plenty of time for Sentinels to get here for a retake, but they're in a 4v5 situation. You don't have to run it back to get through. You do pick up Dazed, who's lurking mid-map, so now a 4v4 on the retake. Spider without a paranoia or a dark cover is trying to hold over towards the double box. Skadoodle going to be hard-pressed just to hold this scope as he's watching over towards C Garage. Misses the first shot. Now here comes the rest of the hit. Spider will find a couple. He's on three this round. Sick will be hit by the spam of the spy dart. And he's now in a 1v2. Double curveballs come through. He's going to get information right onto one player over towards C Long. But he's going to have to find a third kill. Blaze while about to come through, but Brax will take him down from the garage alley, and that will be T. He knows nothing's there for now. He's been in garage the entire time for the most part, so he hears nothing. And now for Sentinels, you've got to be pretty sure it's going to come through from A. And there comes the TP left. in. Zombs gets a bit of info, oh. and that will be confirmation. Big pick, though, for Shazam. That'll slow things down. The Paranoia will try to reinvigorate this defense, but Skadoodle still finds a pick onto Zombs, and it looks like... Shazam has actually picked up the Operator and now dropped it for a Phantom. He's going to find one. Sinatra, another Sick able to help out. Skadoodle only caught the leg, I believe. That Sick has been good at getting these running backs, and we've talked about already the prevalence of him having it. It's been a little bit hot and cold, but hot and cold might not be enough to really kind of frame up the imagery there. It's been either piping hot or slightly cold. What is that peak from Shazam? Jumps over the cyber cage and then snaps on the AZK for first blood. Unbelievable. Zom's now in a position to try to isolate the kill as well onto Brax. He's not going to expect this. Thank you very much. Sentinel's looking primed to take the map as they're in a 5v3. Days will have to find a big kill over here towards B. Skadoodle's going to also jump on in. Curveball will stall any hit from coming through. Days now with a shock start coming out. Not going to find much value there as Sick finds two kills. 
Sentinels confirm the 13. Sentinels already working their way through mid vent. This is going to split up T1 heavily, not just because there's a split between the two members on A and the three members on B, but both members on A are also very split apart. But a couple of headshots from Spider, he'll find a lot of damage and then also convert a kill. It'll lead an opportunity for AZK to try to take advantage, but Shazam and Dapper will pick up the pieces. And now all of a sudden, Sick is to make his way onto the A site for a plant. Early wall coming down as well, just to slow the rotations down. Barely slows it as T1 still. And I get the three members here. And thankfully for T1, you did see Spider get that one kill. They are still down a member though. Low HP for the side of Sinatra, but the post point is into full effect. Key member here is going to be Dapper over towards ramps. He can come in late, he can come in for the flank as well, he can deny a lot coming through. If he gets a lot of heaven control, this will go the way of Sinatra's as they do get a kill early. Two kills now is dazed on his lonesome. Yeah, it's got to be a pretty frustrating piss for Sick towards his resurrection. And here comes the commitment. Two members defensively for T1 are here. The wall gets placed. It will not be broken. And this is a play that we sick to often. He'll just sit on top of his own wall. If anyone tries to break it, he'll challenge. And it will not come through. So the fortification is there. Sick will find a kill and then a little bit of self-sustain off the healing orb. And these members for T1 on the site are not in a great spot to deal with this. Oh, look at this updraft though. Skadoodle with an opportunity but can't convert. Meanwhile, Spider on the site as well, able to find a double. So T1 do turn around the numbers, but the health pools are still low. Dapper's going to get a read on the one no problem, but does get hit by the fault line. And as the challenge starts to come through, AZK will clean up in a thrift. Well, they certainly have to put everything into the bank now. Spider up and early. We talked about Spider previously. Gets a couple of shots connected, but it's AC Care that will be able to get the kill. Spider's still in the back, by the way. We'll be calling for some reinforcements. The Sentinels have the sight. Sinatra has the showstop, but not quite find any value early. Might still be able to get one over towards Spawn. Might just do a bit of damage and walk away. Yeah, he reads the information that there are a couple members that are here. Sinatra will double peek, and with that, Brax will find the elimination. T1 do have the ability to potentially try to scout things out with this from the shadows from Spider, who is playing through a ramp. He's cleared out at least that exit. So for Sentinels, there's only really one spot you can be, and that's on the site itself. Maybe consideration towards this backside screens play, as there is obviously the fortified wall here from Sick. But once again, T1, you've got to make a commitment. It looks like it's mostly going to be from the top ropes. Shazam looking to flank behind this. Here's the play forward. You're going to get Skadoodle on site first. Cloudburst coming through. Shazam able to find two. Zom's another. And Brax, no chance to challenge. He'll back away. And Sentinels, they'll be up 5-1. T1 will be forced to go into a light by or a full eco. Position to contest towards B Tower. But there's a spy cam watching this. And Dazed is also here. Dark Cover comes through. Sick is going to be able to find one kill. No, no way. They've got an opportunity here. Skadoodle is able to find one kill down low, but he's traded. We're down to a 2v2. This was a 3v5 situation. AZK and Spider aren't here. And again, Sentinels will be in a position to where they can get this fight planted. And there's a resurrection now on the table because of it. And he's going to go for it straight away. It will be 3v2 in just a second. Hang on a minute. Sick is being very patient. I suppose Sick doesn't quite know exactly where the two last T1 members are. Zom's... Also wrapping very far around. There's only one player nearby for the resurrection to come through on. And Sick has to win this 1v1 coming up now. Here we go. This is Spider walking on in, taking a bit of damage. And Sick is still on site. They're giving it away as Zom's come through on heaven. It'll be a heaven post play. Sick is down. Zom's in a 1v2. No resurrection in play. No extra member to work with. Zom's has to get a kill. The defuse is coming in. There has to be a stick as well. That's going to be the kill right now. And Unreal. it is planted for him in the open. Zom's for three. And it does not matter that there was no... I can say that it's been B, 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 B. It actually will oh, eventually be a from the shadows play over to A. And as Dapper finds AZK, that's a big resource down as far as being able to flash in for a retake. I mean, you're going to have to commit for a showstopper kill. Shazam is not going to find any value with the Bladestorm, but that's fine because he's already pushed over towards this defensive screens area. And T1 are going to have to flood. There's really no other choice. For them. They have to flood through. There's too many members for Sentinels that are over towards A ramps. you got to get these kills up front quickly. Depending on where people die, the res is still in place. Shazam probably a little bit too far to get res now. And that's where the flood could be effective. Showstopper still available. There's Spider on two kills. Nicely landed. And now it's just up to Sick. Oh, you got to go for the res here. You kind of have to. The defuse is already coming in. <laughs> you have to stop the defuse. Yeah, sick true. doesn't really know what to do here. A little bit of confusion. And T1 will be able to rescue one round. Spy with the quick snaps will collect the headshots. Into something's definitely working right now.
And it's one of those things that the wall will find more value on the offense, the slow orbs will find more value on the defense, at least based on how we've seen this in the past. Sinatra with nice shoulder peek. We'll see a lot of information up towards B tower. Skadoodle working his way down. Tailwind coming through. He'll find first blood on the dapper. Hell's also trying to clear out some space. Skadoodle for another opportunity. Can't win the fight, but doesn't matter. T1 will still take the site. Sick, trying to stay alive. Will not be able to successfully convert any kills. Left. So now it's just down to Shazam. Planted. A 1v4 now made a 1v3. You've got AZK who's tagged up to a single bullet. A lot of utility for Shazam as well. Two Cloud Bursts. And if you can find this kill, there's a big opportunity. Fault line will stall him for a moment. But an updraft, 86 HP, double Cloud Burst, and now a Tailwind to play with. Sees the opportunity for weapons nearby. But as he tries to make the play onto site itself, Brax will take the peak. Mm. Orb has been taken away as well, so Sentinels will have another extra ultimate in the Showstopper. Costly move here for T1, trying to deny and find the kill. They spend a flashpoint and they spend their paranoia trying to find the pick and they don't get it. And beyond that, Shazam over towards A ramps. We'll find a headshot onto Brax. So a lot of utility already being spent. The wall will come through. Most of it will fortify. And I don't think you can sneak through this. They're gonna have to delete it and they do. Sentinel still trying to contest this though and sick able to find the kill plus get the healing orb off. No trade to follow. So now big numbers for Sentinels in what has been a buy round for them, 5v3. Showstopper finally being used here. No connection, no I like Skadoodle down, so now for AZK. One alive now for Spider as he tries to swing things around for T1. Kills or Sinatra. Still has three to work against though. The paranoia is gonna be too much and T1. Others are being thrown. And the potential combination of Either a boom bot or maybe even paint shells with this slow orb is going to come through. Flushing out the position though is T1 and they're able to back away and confirm a lot of damage. Very valuable opening hit here for T1 so far. And this is where the Sage is actually valuable. Sick will get the heal up now. Here come the paint shells. Showstopper into play. Where do the kills come on? And days and AZK down. Sinatra's got two. He goes down as well. But Sentinels still have a res in play. He gets back in now. 5v2 shift. And this looks like Sentinels. Uh, but Brax is still in a position to find one more kill. Maybe there's an opportunity now. It's just down to Spider, but he doesn't read Dapper close by. Set.